In the early hours of February the 6th, 2023, Turkey was hit with a huge tragedy. An earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 hit the southeastern part of the country, just along its border with Syria. This earthquake was so large that the seismic waves were felt in neighboring countries and sensors picked up these waves in places as far as the UK. And then another large quake with a magnitude of 7.5 then later hit the central part of Turkey on the same day. These earthquakes have caused many buildings to collapse and have also reportedly caused damage to gas pipelines which have in turn led to fires. There has been loss of lives, missing people, limited aid, powerful fault lines and aftershocks. Now, how has this affected the world of football? Well, a number of footballers and footballing personalities were caught in the middle of this natural disaster like many residents of Turkey and Syria. Former Ghana international and Chelsea winger Christian Atsu, who plays for Turkish club Hatay Spor, reportedly went missing immediately after the quake. Reports said that he was trapped in the rubble of his club's headquarters. It was said that his voice, as well as that of the club's sporting director Tanil Savut, was heard from the rubble. As soon as the news about Atsu broke, the Ghanaian FA, as well as his former clubs Chelsea and Newcastle, showed their support to the 31-year-old via statements on their Twitter accounts. Since he went missing, there have been conflicting rumours about Atsu's well-being. Some reports initially said that he'd been found, but his agent debunked those claims and said that his client had still not been located. Two days after he went missing, there still was no definitive report about Atsu's well-being or whereabouts. Already there's a lingering fear that the Ghanaian forward might already be dead, but sadly there's one footballer who has already been confirmed dead. Turkish goalkeeper Ahmet Eyüp Turkaslan was confirmed dead on the 7th of February after being trapped under a building the previous day. Ahmet, who spent his entire footballing career playing in Turkey, was at a residence with his wife when the earthquake hit. They were both trapped under the building, but his wife was rescued. She came out to ask for help on social media, saying that there were no excavators or cranes available at the location. On the 7th of February, Ahmet's body was recovered from the rubble. Gokhan Zan, who represented Turkey internationally and played his entire club career in the country, has been using his platform to ask for help. You can see that the 41-year-old former centre-back was hit very hard by the news of the disaster because he wasn't able to hold back tears when recording videos asking for assistance. Speaking of assistance, some players have already offered some of that towards victims and rescue efforts. The Leo Messi Foundation will reportedly donate 3.5 million euros towards helping rescue victims of the Turkey-Syria earthquake. Turkey international and former Juventus defender Mary Demiral has said that he'll be auctioning off a signed Cristiano Ronaldo Juventus jersey in his possession, with the proceeds going to helping people in the areas affected by the earthquake. Enna Valencia, who plays in Turkey for Fenerbahce, has decided to be more hands-on. He went to a local supermarket to purchase supplies for victims of the earthquake and went to deliver them himself. And then Galatasaray, one of the biggest football clubs in the country, has since launched a fundraiser and on the very day the earthquake hit, they were able to send out a truck fully loaded with supplies for the victims. We'll continue to stay in touch with the latest news coming in from Turkey and rest assured we'll bring you updates as soon as they happen. We at Goal90 want to use this opportunity to send our thoughts and best wishes to all the victims and those who have loved ones currently trapped in the rubble. Our prayers are with all of Turkey and Syria and we hope to get only good news from here on. If you're watching this, please say a prayer for Turkey and Syria.